Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? Oops, I did not mean to break that. Dang it, didn't think that would be happening. <laughs> Let's rebuild this. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing good myself. What did we have? No, not a crimson, it was a mangrove. And let's just type it here. Uh, I was blue. Was it blue or cyan? Not sure. And I had some glow ink. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it was just blue. Like that. Perfect. As if nothing had happened. So, how's everyone doing today? Today, we're gonna head out here to the Mushroom Village because that's what people voted for on Twitter. So, if you want to have a, um, a voice in what I do, I suggest you subscribe to my Twitter. You follow me on Twitter would be the right terminology. Um, yeah. So, today we're gonna work here. I wanna work a bit on more houses. So yesterday we worked on houses in the um, in the jungle village or in the jungle city would be the better term to call it, better way to call it. Um, and yeah, we worked on houses over there and I really enjoyed building some houses. So I'm gonna build some more here. Uh, I would like to figure out a block palette that would be a bit different than this one for the uh, non-broken houses. So, what choices could we have? We have spruce, that can always work well. Maybe some polished andesite. Um, what else could we have for our little round houses? Uh, that could be good as well. Uh, uh, uh. Mud bricks could be interesting also. So let's use that. Um. Yeah, I think for the... Um, like the old houses, the, the ones that didn't get built after the uh, cataclysm happened. I think that could be a good start for a pallet. Uh, so let's build a house here. Uh, so this one has three, a corner and another three. So this one's bigger. So let's say we have kind of some uh, corner pillars ish pillars here that could work um, ooh. gonna put this back here and add a few blocks there just so it's uh, a better looking uh, line here uh, so let's raise this up a bit like that and I'm gonna put some some spruce here I'm gonna break off this mushroom a bit we can always replace it later also should be replacing the wool we're not gonna need green wool of course there we go some like that uh, the door is going to be here, so the inside all going to be lowered here. The floor will be down here instead. So I'm actually going to put those blocks here too. Perfect. And the door is here. Or should it be on the side maybe? I'm not sure. Let's, uh, no, let's put it in the middle. We got something like that. So why did it change? It's so weird. Yeah, it's either my 
my uh, mouse wheel is like super sensitive and changes blocks by itself without me touching it or or it's just being weird the game is being weird and it's changing the blocks for me um, so we got this now what if we had no mud bricks don't work for that I'm um, trying to find a way to incorporate those blocks down here kind of a, a uh, kind of a foundation for the walls here there we go something like that oops I'm gonna need some more here and actually I'm gonna need to change them inside as well with some little windows on the sides here Wait, give me a second there's something I need to check and I also had to drink just a bit of coffee um, so now here we had at this height we had the roof starting so we're gonna start it a bit higher than that I really should have worked on the shape before working on on the uh, the block palette though um, what slabs do we have that would work well here er, 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 er. which one could we use S mm, sandstone not really what works well with spruce there's oak but the other roof is also oak so I kind of I'm trying to try different things Maybe those deep slate tiles and uh, maybe some black stone. Mm, 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 mm. What else could we try? Uh, is there something I'm not noticing? <laughs> I'm gonna try it with just deep slate like that. needs to be back here hello I on this how are you doing just lurking while you edit that is very cool there is no problem with lurking thank you for joining me today I hope you're doing good um, yeah as a palette that works I'm just gonna need to have something different a bit for the roof. Uh, what kind of slope did we have here? One, that, so three, three, and then a little peak here. Uh, what if we have just two blocks for the slope till we reach the middle and then we have this, this, uh, that. Now, for the middle, could we have some black stone? Got this, we got this, we got this here. Yeah, that's gonna be better here. And that.
Um, I can already say that's not really good. I'm still gonna use it to fill it in just to have an idea of the shape. But it will not be a good uh, choice for the inner part of the roof. It will not work, sadly. Nope. This, there we go. And uh, that, and uh, that. So, the shape works, but it really is just the, the, the block type that's problematic. So actually I'm just gonna switch it to some deep slate bricks and maybe some cobbled deep slate. Well, we'll try each type. Even try the, uh, the, the, the smooth deep slate. If I change this one, no, it won't work. Nope. So let's see which one looks better. That, that, or that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I think I like this one better, but I'm gonna break it down a bit using some of that, uh, some of the um, the cobbled deep slate slabs. That's gonna be, I think, a good combination. Thing is, I'm not sure what I should use to break down the tiles. That's annoying, and we don't have cracked. We have cracked deep slate tiles, but we do not have cracked deep slate tile slabs, which is stupid. I'm, I'm gonna say it. I'm okay with that. I will live with the consequences. It's stupid that we can't have that. Anything can crack. A slab should be able to crack. It makes no sense that it cannot. There we go. I said it. I hope. No one's gonna unsub to me for my radical opinions on cracked blocks. I hope everyone had a good weekend and had fun plans for the um, yeah, for the weekend. I personally didn't do much. I streamed yesterday. I was supposed to have a class yesterday morning, uh, and it got moved to this morning. So I had this class to give this morning, and now that it's done, I got nothing to do. Which is not totally true, I, I totally need to clean up my apartment, uh, but I, I didn't do that. So I am currently living in filth, which is, well, not, not exactly how it is, I, it's not that bad, but I really needed to, um, or I, I'm gonna need to clean up some stuff. A bit later when I'm done streaming. Uh, that is wrong. Let's put this here. I'm just trying to see if if 
couple tips they could also work as kind of broken down deep, uh, deep slate tiles to me it feels a tiny bit weird but what about blackstone oops uh, maybe some uh, some that cobble blackstone or it's not cobbled it's just blackstone could work with that if I replace just those I said replace uh, no doesn't work that does not work either yeah that's annoying uh, 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 uh. Okay, so do I still like this house compared to the other one? It does have this weird feel of a stone roof on top of a, of wooden walls that always always felt weird to me. Huh, huh, huh. That's annoying. That's a bit annoying. Do I still deal with that or not? Yeah, no, I'm just gonna tear everything down. I'm having one of those days, uh, so slab. We got spruce, uh, we could have What type of, uh, of walls should we have? I think I'm just gonna put, I, I think like, a, oops, sorry, gonna hit my mic here. Uh, I think I'm just like, as a general rule, we're gonna have stones for the walls and woods for the roofs. I just decided that. Uh, so let's look again at the choices that we have. Uh, Oak and spruce are gonna work well together. Thing is, I'd, I'd really like to have something a bit different. Like having a just just a third choice would make things a bit easier for me. Um, I don't know why I just did that. Slab. Ah, uh, what? Could I use? Because we already have these two that can also work, but for the uh, the other parts of the, the, the not the other parts, but the other types of houses. Um, I used birch on the other one, but just kind of as a uh, little accent piece. Let's use some jungle and let's. We're gonna try dark oak. It just it. I feel like it won't really fit in all that well. Hello, Thomas Denou. How are you doing? So what biomes have I done already? I'm working on three biomes at the same time right now. Well, right now, not, not right now, but currently, I should say. Uh, so now we're working on the Mushroom Island, uh, where we have this little quiet little uh, fishing village that got struck by a weird cataclysm and, and turned everything into absolute weirdness. Um, so some of the houses are as they were before that cataclysm. Uh, like this one or well th this one here, it, it's completely done, it's finished. Um, I'm also working on the same time on some uh, on a jungle village or it, it it's a jungle city uh, so it's a kind of a big uh, imperialist city with like a too clear like a, well a, a very clear class system and yeah two clear classes the, the there's the poor people and the rich people that live in in different areas completely 
Uh, and I'm also working on a, um, a an ice spikes uh, fortress. It's not really a village. It's more of a fortress. Uh, it's kind of it's gonna be a straight, uh, you know, those uh, frozen skeletons. So uh, yeah, I'm working on a fortress for those as well. So I'm because I, I tend to get bored of projects quite easily. So having three projects working. Uh, on a, in, in parallel really helps with the um, the whole burnout thing that can happen to many people that try to create content <laughs> so yeah these are the three that I'm uh, currently working on I do not remember seeing your name before are you a new viewer on my channel if so welcome I hope you enjoyed what you watch me do here. I really hope. And yeah, for the, uh, the those different villages that I'm doing, uh, I'm uh, I'm also I, I also have more ideas for uh, different different types of um, a village. Like wh when I'm gonna be done with the first three. I'm gonna work a bit more on uh, on some others. Uh, I got plenty of ideas already, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I think first time here. Well, welcome. Glad you are uh, coming over, stopping by to uh, watch me stream. I'm a fairly new streamer, I've been streaming for a bit more than a month, semi-regularly. So uh, yeah, welcome, I hope you enjoy what you find here. I'm curious to know how did you find my stream today? How did you uh, come upon it? Uh, upon it? Can't wait to see it. Uh, yeah, so, I, I got some, uh, some cool cool ideas in mind I think yeah I'm, I'm always curious to know how people uh, find my stuff and what I do oops uh, something like this does that look good eh not really You know what? I'm gonna do this like that. Oh, YouTube recommendation. Oh, that's cool. I wasn't sure if I was like uh, big enough to uh, to be recommended, but it's cool to know that it can work. It can happen. <laughs> So yeah, I'm uh, I'm really working on on uh, lore first and foremost for these uh, these villages. You're not a good builder in Minecraft. I I have a hard time with that uh, that approach. We we can all build stuff. We just have to find our own style. I I, I would say, like the the way I build, many people don't like it, and I I don't like. Many of the things that I see being built by, like, gr great builder or people that have, uh, like, a very uh, good reputation as, as great builders. Uh, I don't always like what they do. I think it's important to see that we, or to, to recognize that we all have our own style and our own, own strengths. Uh, I like the technical side of, the, of Minecraft. Yeah. I totally get that too. Uh, it, it, it's so cool that it's it's such a varied game. There's so much different ways to play. One of the things that I, I really like doing is uh, building mini games. I'm kind of changing my uh, my style now. I'm trying to work more on uh, on building stuff like that. But yeah, it's um, there's so many things to do and ways to play the game. That's. I think it's it's definitely my uh, 
That's my favorite thing about this game. Oops. Nah. I'm gonna keep it like that. Hey, why did it change? Um, so yeah, for this uh, this series that I'm doing here, so for these uh, these little villages that I'm uh, I'm working on, uh, I'm I'm really incorporating a lot of lore into the village, as you probably uh, noticed from my description of of this village here, of this one. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, trying to incorporate lore and trying to explain like why is the village the way it is and what uh, what's like w what happened there to make it into that specific village and I'm not just working on the um, the aesthetics but I'm trying to uh, also just justify so I'm not trying to build pretty things I'm trying to build things that make sense I don't know if it it, it, it makes sense the way I'm describing it but yeah that's that's something that's super important to me like not just like okay yeah that, that thing is is pretty but just why is it like that? W what logic does it follow? So for example, for this village here, as I mentioned earlier, there was kind of a cataclysm. So I can show you what's been built already. Uh, but kind of the, the, well, the idea of the, um, the whole area. So there was a, uh, as I mentioned, a quiet little uh, fishing village. And at some point, a... Um, a wizard decided to uh, to settle in, in into the village. It was calm, and he, he could do his experiments. And at some point, he he went too far, and uh, there was like a, so there's going to be a tower here, the, the wizard's tower, and the tower kind of broke open completely. It it just oh yeah, it it, it broke. It uh, and it kind of opened a portal to a weird dimension. So here we're gonna have a kind of the, the remnants of the tower kind of floating around, kind of connected with glass, as if like there was some magic holding it together. And here we're gonna have, uh, you know, the fog effect that we can have with glass. Uh, so we're gonna have this big crater in the middle here and some cracks all around it. So it's another thing that I, uh, I worked on uh, in the, one of my previous streams. I need to finish at least one of those cracks here with all the the fog but yeah so it kind of broke the the the, the land there's some cracks in the ground everywhere um and the the people of the village well some houses were destroyed some people were killed but they still that's that that was their home so they they decided to stay so some of the homes were okay some have some uh mushroom growing on on them uh, and yeah th th after that big cataclysm there were uh, mushrooms growing everywhere the cows turned into mushrooms all, all of that stuff so I'm gonna be building a lot of big mushrooms including mushroom built with the nether stuff and um, some of the newer houses the ones that were built after that uh, big cataclysm they didn't have the resources that they used to have, so they're gonna be built using all the the new resources that, that are available on the island. I'm gonna remove that, that was just for the paths. So yeah, the some houses are built like with chunks of big of those brown mushrooms. Chunks got just cut out and they put them on the roof. And they were using the, the wood that they got from the uh the, the not the warp the crimson stems so it's kind of the the, the idea that I, uh, that I want to have for this uh, or the, that I want to do for for this place having yeah the different materials and like two clearly different styles of uh, of builds um, yeah it's kind of the idea that I had for that so right now we're working on the more common regular houses. That's amazing. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Uh, yeah, we're working on the uh, more regular houses, the ones that were there before all that stuff happened. And eventually we're going to work more on, on other, the, the, the newer houses, the ones built with the newer materials. 
and also eventually working on on paths on on other types of buildings so here we're gonna have kind of a communal area kind of an um, a, not, a, not an arena but like an agora like a central place stuff like that i'm already working a bit on some landscaping here and over there I, got, I made this little cliff in the last stream that I spent here. That's a bit weird. We need to... Oops. No, that... That's better. Yeah, so we got some docks, stuff like that. And I also wanted to change all the... All the land that's underwater because, like... The, the, the weird alien stuff that spread around the, the island, it, it didn't stop just to... Just on, on land, it also went underwater, of course. So I'm uh, making those weird uh, beaches with smoke coming out of the water and uh, red sand, some magma, stuff like that. Just to add a bit more, uh, add a bit more lore and more uh, story to the place. Yeah. So let's go back to working on that little house. Um, so, we might use... I don't want to use Deep Slate, though. Uh, what about Blackstone? No, that's Deep Slate tiles. Where's my Blackstone? There it is. There it is. Yeah, so you see you're more of a technical player. Do you build farms and stuff like that? Are you one of those people that make uh, enormous farms that, uh, like, uh, you, you AFK one hour and you have all the blocks that you need for an entire season? Is that the kind of uh, of uh, technical play that you uh, you like, or just building weird redstone stuff, or? Good for the sides and maybe terracotta and concrete could be good as well. No, black concrete's too, too smooth. Maybe the black concrete powder. Um, so these uh, dark walls, light pillars, I don't really like that combination. Uh, but like that, it works, though. So we're gonna keep this. That works. Um, something like that. Uh, XP. Is XP meant to be <laughs> is a uh, winky face? I'm not sure. Or is it for experience? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure in, the, in that context. Uh, while dying non-stop trying to build some things. So you like uh, dangerous farms. <laughs> if I get it correctly. Let's do it from the inside. It's going to be easier for that part. I don't like the blackstone all that much. I don't think I'm gonna use. Um, okay, just a smiley. Okay, I, I wasn't sure from context if you meant like experience. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes uh, 
my brain does not understand the, the obvious things. Uh, but yeah. So I, I feel like with the dark trim around the roof and it, it makes it weird having dark walls and lighter pillars for these uh, little uh, corners or uh, not corners but like the, the edges of some sections and uh, yeah terracotta and and uh, concrete powder they're too bland to really work well for a wall I would say so maybe stone bricks and what else what else what else what else could we use polished version of the blackstone yeah but it would keep to me it would keep too much of the same color and i i kind of like the those pi those uh, pillars here so i'm going to try this for now though i don't i'm not sure if i like it all that much yeah just need to those corners here just need to be darker i think or those edges i'm going to try to use the right words That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Oops. Uh, let's do it like that. Um, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Do I like this? Still looks a bit weird to me, and I'm not sure why. can't really say what I dislike about this yet. Ah, why can't I find a good block palette? That's annoying. That is super annoying. What about just Sandstone? Is that too much? Is that too light? Because I really want to give this place a, a very rustic feel. So... Oh yeah, maybe with just the regular sandstone here and there. It could help maybe. Kill blocks for the um, the pillars here. That could work also. Yeah, no, that does not work. Uh, kelp. Kelp, kelp, kelp. Wait, is it directional? No, it is not. It'd be cool if kelp was directional. It would be quite cool. Um... Or did you mean kelp for the pillars? That's interesting. Yeah. What? Why did it go there? Um, yeah, that's an interesting texture to have for the wall here. Good. Huh. 
Try the entire house. Let me do that and that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Still haven't figured out a way to mute my mic when I sneeze. some stupid allergies in my throat. It's super annoying. There we go. And we need kelp here. Yeah, that works. The roof looks a bit Weird, I feel, I think that the, uh, the, the dark oak trim doesn't work all that well with that, or does it? No, it's, yeah, dark oak works with that, it's the spruce that doesn't work. It's when we see it next to the spruce that it looks weird. So, I'm gonna fill it all in. No, with no, don't go there. Okay, with oak. Yes, that oak. That's the word I was looking for. Oops. So let's do that. Some birch slabs would work here. Wait, I got some birch slabs over here. Perfect. Just here and there. So it kind of takes a similar kind of pattern as that roof there, but we'll still we still manage to make it a bit different. That works, that is good, that is great. And now we're just gonna put some, some mushroom blocks on top. Stuff that fell from some other mushrooms or something. Something like that. Uh, it doesn't work all that well because of that gap, so I'm just gonna push it a bit further back here instead. And here it could be like raised a bit. Oops, I fell. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to put some underneath as well. 
it's such a weird game mechanic that the way we can just change the texture of the mushroom blocks of the not mushroom blocks mushroom blocks like that it's a weird it, it's fun but it's weird <laughs> like you have to place it next to it and then remove it makes it a bit hard to use in survival or not not hard but inconvenient but other than that it's it's cool it's pretty cool. So this mushroom here will have grown over this house a bit. never use those blocks yeah it's a uh, it's a bit of a weird mechanic so basically do, do you know how they work basically if you place one like that and if you have the same block next to it the uh, the texture between the two will turn into the uh, inside texture so if you remove it now you have the inside texture here so the uh, kind of spongy material, you can get it here, like that. So it, it can become a bit complex to use, but uh, yeah. Once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. But in, in survival, it's uh, super annoying. At least they can break pretty easily. But yeah, in survival, it's uh, it can be annoying. A very cool thing about it though is that they won't affect the different, the, like the other types of mushroom blocks. So that's pretty fun because it, it makes things a lot easier. Um, this one should also be the inside texture. And yeah. That works. And maybe. Yeah, I'm regretting my choice of uh, like using bottom slabs here and then top slabs. Makes it a bit harder to to make some mushrooms on top of the houses. But, yeah, we can manage. There we go. Something like that. Oops. And let's get some inside textures here and here. Excellent. Excellent. Here. There we go just for the sake of consistency. Uh, so, so we have two wall textures now. Um, the roof that we had earlier did work. Would it work with a house like that? 
So if I make a brick house with the same kind of, of roof that we had there, I'm gonna pick one the same size though. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one here. So I'm gonna kind of do the same house that we had over there. Wait, no. No, no, no. We're not done. Sorry, I, I need to stop moving on to other projects before I'm done. Uh, we're gonna use some... is that dark oak? Yeah, dark oak fences. We still need to make that thing look good. Could use some walls here and there. Just to show that it's a bit... a bit broken. I'm just gonna place some fences all around it. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that makes the house look a bit better. have some glass paints. Wait, did I use glass on the other one? Would glass make sense? Yeah, it, it glass makes sense here. Uh, glass. I'm gonna use light gray and... Let's just try the regular one. It's gonna be light gray. It's just it, it's the best the best glass in the game. Oops, uh, let's do that. And what door could we have? Wait no, let's do the floor first. Uh yeah, let's make it out of polish and the side for now. on the other one uh, dark oak it, it feels way too fancy spruce would fit in very well here how about birch in terms of color birch would look good in terms of uh, like design or of uh, of uh, what's the word style theme Birch won't look good. Spruce looks good. Surprisingly, yeah, it does. And this one, do I like it? I, I prefer spruce. There we go, like that. And there is a dev. Hello, dev. How you doing, buddy? How are you doing, my friend? What's up? We're working on the Mushroom Village again today. I think that's what we were working on last time you were here. Yeah, last stream. Well, not, not the one I made yesterday, but the one just before that, which was... It was last Sunday, right? Relaxing catching the stream that's perfect that's what we can go for 
relaxing, chilling out, enjoying the fact that you don't have much to do. Uh, has it? Or was it Tuesday? Did I stream to? I might have streamed on Tuesday. I don't know. I do not know anymore. I'm super confused now. I don't know what's happening when. <laughs> I am lost. Uh, I felt like it was last Sunday. But I... Because I didn't work on Tuesday. But I don't remember what I did. You were flabbergasted that I had classes on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, I did. And you know what? I had one again. Today. Because they... Uh, they couldn't be here. They, they were supposed to be, the, be here yesterday morning. Well, according to our regular re regular schedule, there was no surprise. Like the, the, we had already talked about it, but our regular schedule says we're uh, we were gonna have a class uh, yesterday, but we couldn't, uh, or they could not. Funny thing is, I didn't set up my alarm, and like it, it, they come over, like they arrive at nine a.m. So it, it's not like they're coming in super early uh, and I clearly was not ready I forgot to set up my alarm so I woke up a bit too late so I uh, I wasn't even in my in my classroom when I when when they arrived I was like putting some stuff away in my kitchen and I was eating my last bite of uh, of a bagel of, the, of my breakfast still had drank like not even half my coffee so yeah it was a, a good start to the day but you know it, it went well he's a good kid so yeah it was fun yeah, okay that's the same thing What does a walrus eat for breakfast? Walruses eat whatever they want for breakfast. <laughs> I usually eat bagels. It's just... It's the easy thing. Except on, on Wednesdays, of course, because it's Waffle Wednesday. So, of course, I'm gonna eat waffles on Waffle Wednesday. Because I'm not a monster. Best tradition ever, so I... Uh, I have to follow it, of course. With cream cheese, yes, with cream cheese. It's a very, very tasty combination. So yeah, today we are working on some more houses. So we already built this one here in the um, the uh, original part of town. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way of saying it. A plain bagel. I uh, know it was an everything bagel. I uh, yeah, I get the. I get those at the store, but they're not like real bagels. They're more like bagel shaped bread, but I, I, I like them. That's the one that uh, that we have at the store. Though no, there, there are some real bagels, but I don't know why I never buy those. I don't know why. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 the, the house. So we build this house. Um, yeah, it's one of the um, older houses with the materials that they could find before uh, before the cataclysm here. 
And so yeah, we're building a few of those. At first I wanted to have a roof like that, but it really didn't fit in with the... Uh, the... The wall design that we had here. I cannot find any words anymore, that's annoying. Um, so yeah, I'm... Uh, stop talking about food. There, There's no problem at all with talking about food. Food is important. Did you know that everyone needs food at least once in their life? Yeah, the houses after the cataclysm will be built. Uh, as you just said, with the mushroom stuff. Did you see the one that I built already? I, I have this one here. So that's a post-cataclysm house. So they were just using chunks of, uh, of brown mushroom. Sounds like an important statistic. Yeah, it, it is, it is. But yeah, they were using the crimson wood for the roof. I, I was using crimson wood because I needed to justify the use of the crimson wood door. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the palette that we have. So we're gonna have mushroom stuff and all those uh, those blocks that I added uh, nether bricks because they have slabs and stairs and they, they, they look good. You like the post cataclysm house? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, I added those because they, they fit in well with the rest and I just I needed something I can just Like challenge myself too much I can ch challenge myself a little but I, I Still need to you know Give myself some chance uh, So For this one, I think we're gonna have the pillars here, like in the middle, and for this one I could use the basalt pillars. Hey, quick question that I forgot to ask, that I totally need, that I should totally ask, but how are the volumes, and also can you hear me breathe too much, like is, is my breathing annoying? Because I, I kind of started paying more attention to that and it's like in, in my recordings and my videos it, It's uh, super annoying. It's it's just I can't hear anything else now uh, Do we know what caused the cataclysm? Yes, uh, it's the uh, there was a a wizard that built a tower here and that made some weird experiment that he shouldn't have done and that's what caused it so it, right now it's just a, a circle of course it's not a tower yet but there's gonna be kind of an exploded tower floating here kind of held together by magic something like that that's the idea that we have for uh, for this uh, for the for the story for the the why Things happened the way they happened. Yeah. Evan Noah's breathing noises. Thank you. Thank you. Because I, uh, I reached out to some people and everyone said that breathing noises are annoying and, uh, sometimes unbearable uh, and that's not the experience that I want to give my viewers of course that's uh, that's no fun but if you're telling me you don't hear me breathe that's great though I think I did change my uh, my noise gate a bit to kind of get rid of that just uh, just to make things safer because, yeah, it can definitely be annoying to just hear someone breathe super loudly. Are we talking about our breaths or in-breaths? I don't get what you mean. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Sorry. 
No breathing noises yet. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you very much. It's really funny because you're Thomas Denu and um, one of my friends that I haven't talked to in a while, but his, his web handle is Denoobs. So it's your. Oh! Out breath or in breath? Okay, like an inhale or exhale. Uh, I. I think it's both, though I, I inhale more because I ex exhale while talking. So, yeah, that would be that. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, one of my good buddies um, that uh, got me invited on my first uh, first uh, content creator SMP is named The Noobs. So it's, it's kind of funny to see that, uh, that name that looks so much like his. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm gonna use something other than... Uh, should I use Spruce or Dark Oak? Garden Titan, best collab. Oh boy, don't remind me of that. I think I removed that video. I unlisted it because... Uh, yeah, my, my performance was bad. The... Uh, the small one... The one like I, th that I built this showcase for, I, I like the video, but the Garden Titan was just a mess. Like we advertised it on on uh, on the Minecraft Reddit, but I completely messed up my recording at some point and forgot to uh, or not f forgot, but I, I just I didn't hear it. So there were some weird audio issues. It, it was a mess. We had to like remove it, then re-add it. It was a nightmare. One of my worst performances so far. <laughs> yeah, that was embarrassing. Yeah, so like the first... I, and and f funny thing is, I had to go to a meeting at work, but it was like one hour and I could go come back home. And... <laughs> no, don't worry, it's, uh, it's history, it's a funny thing. It's just uh, looking back like it, it it was a nightmare, but <laughs> it, it's not that bad. It's nothing. No one died, you know. Um, but yeah, so I had to go um, go to work to a meeting, and then I came back to like the noob sending me a message like, "Dude, there's a problem with the audio of your of your uh, uh, of your video." And I listened to it, and I think it was like the audio of another segment had just been copied over, and at, there was like a five-minute part of the, the entire tutorial where we could just hear two audios at the same time, two people talking over each other at the same time. <laughs> it was a mess. It was, uh, yeah, it, it was bad, sadly. But you know, you live and you learn. Ever since, well, that and the the time that I burped in my mic and forgot to remove it, and it made it into a video. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of thing that convinces you to start listening to uh, your your or well, watching your videos before publishing them, like watching the entire thing. <sighs> uh, it was uh, Ripple season one. Ripple season one, I don't know which video, but like it was kind of the the uh, you know when when you're just about to start recording, like you're thinking of what you're you're gonna do and you're kind of moving around, like trying to find where you're gonna start that uh, that clip, and like you take a deep breath and <laughs> time to binge season one, yeah, and y you know that the. the it's just the behind the scenes part that uh, I just forgot to cut out and j just as I was about to start I had this uh, big burp building up inside my stomach and you know I was alone no one was listening no one was in the room with me might as well just let it out be loud about it 
And yeah, I just burped into my mic and forgot to remove it. Amazing times. <laughs> so yeah, the, these kind of events, that's the that's what makes you realize that sometimes, yeah, it's 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 annoying listening to yourself, listening to your own voice, but you have to do it sometimes. <laughs> You can catch some little mistakes that would uh, would be better off n not being in the videos. <laughs> yeah, we all have those little moments. Okay, so we had to take a little drink. Because my throat was going a bit too dry. Um, there's something that feels off about this house and I'm not sure what it is. I think just the three blocks tall walls, they, they just don't work. I think it's just that's just what it is. Oops, this one stays there. Yeah, makes them fun. No, it's a. Uh, I I. <laughs> I'm not really embarrassed by that kind of stuff, it just, it, it happens, it can happen to anyone. It's just, when it happens, it's always like, you're always feeling super dumb. <laughs> but it's, it's never, it's, it's not the end of the world. Once you get past the, uh, the initial shame, it's just funny. So that should be here. Let's uh, take some stairs. Uh, it's making it look better, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really f feels better with the whole like, there's short houses, like it's a windy place. They're making short and sturdy houses. So that's that might be what was bugging me about that one too. So I might go back there and make that little change. Um, let's take some trap doors. Uh, we'll try this one and this one. Yeah, it, it ties in with the uh, with the door. You know what? Even gonna use, gonna use those for windows. All right, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove the glass from the windows and just use trap doors instead. Uh, though now it looks a bit weird. It looks a bit weird. Uh, oh, uh, I missed that message, but if I'm watching Minecraft Lies... Li Minecraft Lies? <laughs> Whoa! Minecraft Live in a few weeks, I will be. I always try and catch it. I, I just like to know. Uh, I, I, I just, re yeah, I really like to enjoy and to know what's coming up. Minecraft lies. I'm I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Don't try and take me there. Not gonna happen.
Yeah, I like that. And yeah, they're gonna be same same direction like that. That's better. Oops, no. There we go. Can't wait to see what the next update's gonna be about. So I, I'm pretty sure we talked about it already. But do you have any um, like a, a, any preference for what the uh, the next update would be about? In, an inventory update seems to be a very hot topic right now. But do you have any other? Uh, other wishes. Combat and enchantment. Yeah, enchantment update could be cool. I had an idea for a uh, a video on the uh, like from my uh, my uh, improvement series of the suggestion series. Yes, I remember what I do. I remember my stuff. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I remember I had the uh, an idea for uh, for a video about like ways to improve enchanting in general. Uh, I never did it, and I don't think I'm gonna do it because last video I made of that series was it it it, it tanked. It really did not work, sadly. The one that I made for the crossbow. I really like this one, the way I made it, a bunch of uh, of different, uh, you know, behind the scenes things, ways to, uh, I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say, but anyway, yeah, w w ways to make things, like kind of special effects, um, but yeah, that, that video just, it just crashed, so I'm not... I'm not sure this uh, there's gonna be much of that series anymore, sadly. But yeah, I had ideas for uh, magic. You're saying like magic being added into the game. Well, funny thing with my uh, crossbow video, uh, my ideas for the, for the crossbow, it kind of touched that a bit, having some kind of magic. Uh, my idea was like having fireworks uh, do kind of uh, well effects depending on the different fireworks stars that you uh, that you use. So it would it wouldn't be magic magic, but it would be kind of in the same ballpark, <laughs> like if magical effects or uh, effects to what you do. So for, let's say for example the um, which one was it? I think it was the. No, not the star, it was the burst effect, the one that you make with uh, feathers. Uh, the idea that I had was that it could push mobs. So it would be kind of uh, the, the equivalent for the, the equivalent of punch for the crossbow. Oops. Uh, but with... Uh, like, the, 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 the mobs would get pushed not away from you but away from where the blast is, so you could, uh, if you're good enough with that, you could be able to push mobs uh, in a different direction. It's like if you hit behind the mob, it would like kind of pull them. If you hit, you you shoot to the side, it could push them like down a hole, stuff like that. So that would be some kind of magic in a way um, um, Potion no one uses them that I totally agree with well uh, I'm gonna have to get back on that uh, just a second uh, Enchantments have gotten weird. I love mending, but I feel like it broke the whole enchanting s enchantment system. Yeah, well the thing is the kind of the, the main w or the um, basic way to enchant would be with the enchanting table but uh, we got villagers and mending is has become so important that like it 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 makes no sense to enchant with an enchanting table 
when you could instead just take all the time that you you spend doing that and instead getting why is that petrified oak what the crap sorry about that um yeah it, like it's invest all your efforts on a villager trading system that's gonna be just just better than a uh than an enchanting setup than an enchanting table and stuff like that because you need to get your 30 levels you need to to get all that stuff and uh and then you you can't even decide what you're gonna put on your items and getting to 30 level especially early game is super complicated it's super hard like you have to go mine in the nether to get quartz and stuff like that it's it's not convenient um so yeah but uh, you said uh potions have no uses uh i kind of disagree with that just because like it has no use for the way i play the game when i play on an smp or well now i'm playing in creative so it, it really has no use at all but they're not necessarily useless it's just that the way i play the game does not require potions <laughs> why quartz i think quartz gives more uh more uh, xp than the other yeah than the other ores i could be wrong but hello thing deep how are you doing <laughs> i hope you're doing good um but um you're more likely to die exactly that's like exactly the problem <laughs> is that if you wanna if you're greedy on xp you go get quartz and you you die getting quartz so yeah it's bad and just uh, early game yeah, xp grinders like uh, skeleton farms zombie uh, zombie spawners things like that they don't give out that much xp so it's not like it, it's not a good source of experience. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I have to say about that. Uh, but yeah, my my uh, my idea on how to improve enchanting tables and the whole enchanting system was that uh, I have to remember what I did back then when I. Uh, Rolled back then, but it, it, it was kind of a, along the lines of uh, you have to uh, w when you put the uh, how do you call that the lapis in you can have to remember what it is. Okay, so th th there was multiple changes. Uh, one of them was to have categories of. Um, of enchantments so for example because uh, we already kind of have that uh, we have uh, damage in increasing enchantment so on your sword you have sharpness you have uh, smite you have bane of arthropods and uh, the the first part of my idea was to like no there was one one idea before that I'm sorry this is an absolute nightmare of me trying to talk I'm very sorry about that um, so Change all the enchantments, make them three levels. Everything has three levels, except the obvious cases like Silk Touch. It can't have three levels, it, it wouldn't work. But other than that, they, they all do. So everything that has five level, it goes down to three. And uh, enchantments of the same category, so let's say, as I said, uh, Sharpness, Smite, and... Bane of Arthropods for the sword, uh, you can choose how many levels you put in them and you could combine them. So let's say you have only three levels, like Sharpness 3 would be the same as Sharpness 5 is currently, uh, but you um, you could put like one level of Sharpness and two levels of Smite, for example. So you could adjust the damages like that by yeah combining stuff. So the total would be three levels. Am I making sense? I'm sorry. I'm trying to um, to remember. <laughs> I think Frostwalker has two levels, does it? 
like it would be like maybe the radius something like that um that's the uh, the idea that the, the, a, a possibility a, a way to uh, make it have more levels two right now yeah so first walker could have three levels uh update on your minecraft situation your friend server is back up but hostile mobs aren't spawning for some reason that's strange very strange but as i said uh yeah as i was saying uh enchantments would be like in any category and that would make the uh incompatible uh incompatible uh, enchantments still incompatible but somehow compatible in like if it's possible it, there are some for which it wouldn't work uh, but yeah you, you could maybe combine combine them so a few levels of sharpness and a few levels of uh, smite together and that makes your sword your that you have like a, a bit more um, more uh, the, the more personalized is what I should say and it would be a cap for that category so that's my first uh, idea uh, then you could use uh, lapis to pick some of the enchantments that you absolutely want to have and the rest would be random so let's say you want one level you, you, you want to have at least one level of sharpness uh, so you would pick, choose one level of sharpness with one piece of lapis and uh, the rest would be random for example. So maybe you could use up to three pieces of lapis to select one enchantment that you really want. So early game getting fortune three would make things, it, it would be a lot easier. Hope it made sense. That's kind of the idea that I had for that. It's now out there. I, I probably won't make it into a video. But yeah, that's uh, kind of the, the idea. It, it, it wouldn't work for some sets of, uh, of enchantments, but for the ones that w w the ones where it works, I think it could go it could do something cool. It could have some uh, some cool combinations. I was not reading chat while I was talking, so um, is there a mob cap? Yeah, some. Some setting got messed up. Spawners still work, okay, so it's not peaceful. Peaceful, peaceful. Um, have you tried just uh, using um, the, the glowing effect to see if there's a bunch of mobs somewhere? Because if the, if the mob cap has just been reached, that could explain the the problem. So let's come back here to work on this this house, correct the things that we uh, just changed by lowering the roof a bit. Oh yeah, how oh, the mob cap could have been reached by being offline for two months. That's a very, very good point. Uh, but you, can you see the head uh, when you use the head boxes? Uh, can you see them th through walls? I don't think you can, right? You like my system, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah, it kind of gives 
players a bit more. F3 screen will work for that. That's, yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, so I'm gonna lower all of that because now it can it kind of all fits on that roof almost actually yeah this one also fits and just because I'm annoying like that Also gonna replace the faces that we do not see. There we go, like so. But yeah, it's a strange strange thing but like nothing would spawn a bit unusual sadly I'm really not well versed in those things so really can't help for that <laughs> sorry about that So yeah, hopefully you can find a solution to that. It's sad when... Uh... Oops, no. When a server dies because of some weird bug like that. There we go. I'm gonna change this one also. Blended. Uh, inventory update. Uh, I mean, it's to, to me. It kind of feels a bit like for the uh, the cave update that everyone was was asking for, and I didn't really care all that much but when they did it I really liked how they did so I mean I wouldn't mind an inventory update <laughs> just for that but right now I I know that there are issues with the inventory but I don't mind them I, I, I don't mind all that much it's not like it's it's not a game breaker for me. Like I'm I'm more annoyed by uh, how node blocks work than I am by how the inventory works. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna f vote somehow. I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna take place precisely but yeah I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, vote for a mob or whatever the vote is about I really like seeing all the controversy around that and everyone saying that w whatever's happening is uh, I don't know some kind of conspiracy or something <laughs> it's always funny Seeing those things. Yep, that works. We got some warts on the mushroom. That's great. Uh, so I was also working on putting some mushrooms here so we could put some. brown stuff here 
Um, Copper Golems, I voted LA personally and I do not regret it, although I did not use a single alley ever since <laughs> the update. But yeah, I, I didn't really care too much about the uh, the Copper Golem. It didn't do much for me. And I mean, it's not like, it, it, as, as usual, it's not like there's, n it, like there, there's no way it ever could be introduced in the game. It's, it's not how it happens. People take it so, so hard when their own choice is not the one that other people wanted. It's a bit sad to see. Still haven't found one yet. They are in, what, in the uh, little uh, pillager towers, I think, and in mansions. Like, they're, they're in pillager structures, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, okay, that's good. That is good for that. Uh, we built two houses. Uh, should we build more of those, like, normal houses? Yeah, I think I want to have another one, a third style of, uh, of walls for the normal ones. Um, which is kind of a bad idea for me to to do because I really struggled finding <laughs> a block palette for the other one that I built. So I'm kind of going for uh, like stony materials. Oh, I could use mud, yeah, but like, yeah, stony materials and wood roofs. It's kind of the, uh, the combination I'm going for. You're... Oh, you're playing on 115.3. Wow. I was not aware of that. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's a good reason to not have found one. I, I've seen allies on, on Daybound. We uh, have people that... Uh, well, we, we kind of use a... Uh, a... Uh, how you call that? A mansion as a um, as our our base or not our base but our spawn spawn town spawn house. So we had some alleys. So some people captured some alleys and uh, were selling them or renting them at some point. Uh, so I've seen alleys. I've uh, they, they're pretty adorable. They make cute sounds, but uh, I have not used them. There's one, one of our server members who has used them a lot for a very, it, it, it's a very good idea the way he used them. He, uh, it, it's Swarmy, he's uh, building a, uh, a uh, how do you call that? Ocean monument. So he tore down an ocean monument, used alleys to uh, get the materials back where he needed them, uh, or, well, to gr grab the materials as he was tearing down the the monument, and, uh, yeah, he, uh, he was able to gather everything, and I, think, I don't think he lost many things, so it was, like, a lot easier for him to, to do that like that, so it's, it's cool, it's a cool mechanic. I think I've seen Decoy in his single-player world also using them for, uh... Oops. Uh, for, uh, his desert, his, his sand mining operations. You just haven't reset the world. Oh, the house that I built is still there. That's cool. 
yeah, this tiny little house. <laughs> wow, did the area change a lot around around there? You know what? I think I'm gonna go there after. If you have time, we could go just check stuff out. If you have time, of course, you you, you have all the rights to be super busy. You know, with uh, everything that happened recently. Um, so... Oops. Yeah, I, I, I like taking a look at that little house that I built back then. Man, it's been a while, right? Was it like before? Wait, one fifteen. Number one is taken or nap. Perfect. That's great. Um, well, yeah, it was. You said one fifteen. So that's the B update. The B, uh, the the whatever. Uh, what was it? The bugs and bees update. I think. Right. So yeah, that's been a long time. Pre-Nether update. And wait, Nether update was 116, so yeah, 117, 118 were caves. And then wild update. June 2020, yeah. Yeah, I remember, yeah, the timing was just not super great for me, because uh, we were starting Ripple 3 back then, so I kind of started <clears throat> started playing then, kind of left for Ripple. Ripple season three, yeah, yep. That's uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, 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 what could I use with that? I think dark oak. I have so many projects, Minecraft projects going on. Well. Having many projects going on is kind of a more recent thing because I always had I, I used to really have like one thing at a time and it's like it, it's within the last year that I decided that like, or that I well I decided to try something else that I yeah decided to just just try and see if I could make it work some other way <clears throat> and have more projects and honestly I I enjoy it so far it's uh, it's cool to have like other projects to fall back on when you're getting bored of your current projects I think Pains of being a server owner. It gets busy, it gets busy around updates and dies after that. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, what too often happens. Um. Is it going up too fast? Yeah. Gonna keep it at that slope here. Yep, perfect. 
perfect. So it's kind of steeper here and goes slowly, well, flatter. That makes sense. So here we've been going more like with diagonal X and for these two kind of going diagonal then joining in so maybe for this one I could go diagonal then splitting would that work? that nope how about like this you know what I don't have to keep everything one block thick can just wait no that's what I just broke um, yeah, I can just make double slabs it's not like anyone's gonna really mind uh, no. why is there spruce on my hotbar who put that there try. Uh, no, that, 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 that. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Hope the mob vote includes a walrus. That would be amazing. I would buy like the game a thousand times just to vote. Just have a thousand votes for the walrus. Wait, who am I kidding? Everyone would vote for the walrus. Obviously. I wouldn't need to do that. Um, I'm just gonna grab all the different doors. I'm gonna pick that. A door. These two will work. Maybe jungle will work as well. So... There we go. Nope. Hmm. Wait. That's going to be this one. That's going to be the one. Will be interesting. I, or I wonder if it will be a passive mob or hostile mob. Yeah, I think that's one thing that it, it's cool that they changed that is that there was a like two passive mobs against a hostile mob the first time around. Well, not the first time, but y you you know what I mean. The the one time that all hell broke loose. Basically, uh, let's put them on the roof. Here. A hostile wal walruses cannot be hostile. You know that. Walruses are, are are the most loving creatures ever. 
no walrus would ever hurt anyone except seals but they're not they, they don't count they're just stupid They're not hostile when they, they hear eagles, they're hostile when they hear the eagles. There's a difference. There's a big, big difference here. <laughs> Huge difference. And as I said that, I saw my uh, viewer count lower by one. I think I offended someone with my comments on the Eagles, and I'm okay with it. I'm gonna be very honest here, I'm okay with that. Uh, wait, is that... Okay, yeah, perfect, I can put some stairs here. Uh... Wait, no, I just need to put stairs... I'm just gonna grab some oak stairs, there we go. Sorry, I'm kind of arguing with myself about the optimal way to type things in the search bar. It's just something I do sometimes. And I see some messages popping in, I'm assuming it's some kind of jokes about the eagles. Which makes total sense because... No, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. They don't deserve that. Uh, you're trying hard not to talk about the eagles. Well, not hard enough, right? Um, yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, hostile mobs versus um, passive mobs. Yeah, like for the for example, the, I, I did not vote for the Isolager, and the, the reason was super simple. I, I thought it would annoy me in the new super cool terrain that we we're gonna have. Like, I'd be just annoyed by by an annoying mob let's uh, let's say it so like the idea of uh, having like some cool new terrain with an annoying hostile mob would have ruined my experience as a player so I decided to vote against the the chillager and also like there, there, there were people arguing against, uh, or arguing using the point that it was a, a, a mountain update, so we needed, like we had to vote, like we had to want to have the new mountain mob, which makes no sense at all. Wow, I'm losing uh, not subs but viewers right now. I see the curve dropping live before my eyes um, but yeah I've I, I kept reading people like saying that because it was an update about mountains we had to pick the mountain mob and it objectively it makes no sense because like well f first of all for the reason that I said that's why I didn't vote for that one for the uh, Isolager, and you, they're asking us what mob we want to add. They're not. It's not a test. It's not like are they gonna realize that the vote that they have to give is the one that fits the theme? No, they're asking us. They are asking. Let's just say what we want. So yeah, lots of uh, fun discussions have been had about all of that. Does it look better like that, or like that? Yeah, better like that. Yeah, that's where we're gonna go for. Um, uh, now, 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 now. Here for that one, we added some, some birch. 
Let's try some bird. I can't remember all the mobs you voted for. Yeah, and th that's a, an, actually a very good point. Like, who really remembers? Like, most people don't even remember what they voted for. It, it's kind of inconsequential at some point. So yeah, it's uh, like it, it's not like it really it's gonna change your life or anything. It's just a new mob in a blocky game. <laughs> but people get so so obsessed with ideas like that of, of, of like the, what they want has to be what everyone else wants. Otherwise, I don't know. It means. It either means they're wrong or everyone else is stupid and they can't be wrong because if they were wrong it would mean they were wrong. So that can't be true. Sorry, I um, have some issues. <laughs> I, uh, I had a student like that who was a bit uh, annoying, couldn't be. Like he, he couldn't be wrong ever and you know. I was the teacher, he was the student, he was the one who like, didn't really know math well enough and had bad grades, but he knew better than me. So yeah, it, it really can kind of get to my nerves and now I try, I, I just make fun of, of that situation now, but yeah, it's, it, it becomes annoying dealing with people like that. We all have issues, yeah. There are definitely no guardians in your guardian farm. Hmm, that's weird though. At least you got mob spawning, but... That is weird that you do not have guardians in your guardian farm. Um, mm, 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 mm. But yeah. On that note, yeah, I, I still, I, I, I'm still looking forward to seeing the mob vote. It's gonna be cool. Also, I'm gonna remove this little house here, or the one that I wanted to put here. Um, so this path doesn't really make sense facing that way, or, or heading that way. Yeah, maybe there was like some uh, chunk corruption or something that made it so, like it it no longer registers as a uh, as a uh, an ocean monument or something. Use some warped fences. So I'm gonna build now a little house pen or a mushroom pen. I already got that. Um, I'm gonna start it off with some warped wood. I mean, sure, there was a weird cataclysm, a weird, strange event of uh, with eldritch ramifications, but they got weird new cows now that they can sell to people, and well, that that they can that they can breed and milk to get soup. Well, they won't milk them; they will soup them. Can you soup something? 
Like if you're getting soup from from an animal, you're 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 souping the animal. Or am I just being weird right now? <laughs> Uh, try to spawn mobs going upward. That's not how you get soup in real life. I know that's not how you get soup in real life, but... You're the, the, the English experts. I'm not. I don't know anything. Soup is a mixture. Milk isn't soup. Is milk soup? Oh, wait, or is milk a salad? Is that the meme? Is, uh, yeah, I think that's that's what it is. It would be cool if that's how we got soup. It would. It would be cool. But sadly, life is unfair. And we cannot get soup that way. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that the verb that we would use in that case is... Like, I'm, I'm souping my mushroom. I'm trying to extract, extract soup from it. It's... Makes sense. That's just how life is. <laughs> So before anyone complains, I, I have to specify, but it's not the final form of this, this mushroom pen. of the game was the uh, the world created in thing deep because maybe it could have messed up some stuff possibly Okay, yeah, one uh, early 2022 is, uh, yeah, 118, yep. thinking oops gonna remove this those pillars could be built with mushroom stems it's gonna fit in well with the theme I feel Thank you. 
Um, and then just here and there have one exposed face or two. Some could be taller than the others, like this one here. This one. Kind of got peeled off the skin of the mushroom. the mushroom stems thank you thank you very much um, wait do mushrooms spread on mycelium if I put just one there is it gonna multiply I'm gonna put in uh, a red one Just to see if they spread. Uh, that I don't. I'm not sure why. I wanted to change that one. Um, actually, some of them are just gonna be real mushrooms. Of course. Oh, am I ready to try and build actual mushrooms now? Let's try this out. should have you know kind of a more of a pointy tip like that so yeah something like that three wide here yeah that works uh, do I keep that nah, I can keep this one here uh, you know what no I'm gonna remove it I'm gonna try and make custom mushrooms as much as I can so I'm gonna remove this normal one Dang it, not what I wanted to do. Uh, this one's gonna be there. Okay. Does it look good? It, it looks good, I like it, but, but, um, However, it feels just too, like, square and, and uh, man-made for a, an actual mushroom. So let's just lower this bit here. Like that. 
makes it a bit better. something like that make it a bit less symmetrical and I uh, don't not this one but have this corner like go up a bit like that does that look better yeah that's good. Just gonna lower this stem here so it doesn't interfere with it. Okay, and let's make a brown one. Oh, one little problem, the stem should be, it's kind of grouping this way, so it should be like that, and that, yeah, I'm just gonna lower it by one more block. Just so that we see better that it's kind of bending that way. Uh, same for this one. Oops. Uh, let's make it like that. And we need brown mushroom blocks. So here with that angle, just have to fill it in this other little corner here wait the sides are I made them three wide should be five maybe let's try to put it like that yeah five blocks wide perfect and like a so, and th th that, uh, oops, nope. No. That's one thing that's kind of annoying. It's not knowing which blocks should be there and which ones shouldn't. So which blocks did you place just to remove the faces? So I'm just gonna do them one at a time. It's gonna make things a bit easier to remember. 
for my poor little brain. Uh, when I said what the pen was for, sorry, I kind of stopped paying attention to chat a bit. Uh, sorry about that. You seem to be involved in a big discussion about stuff I know nothing about and couldn't contribute. Uh, but the pen is for mushrooms. So yeah, it's for... Because uh, like, as I mentioned, they, they got mushrooms out of that. So Oh, and they sp the mushrooms spread. Perfect. Uh, yeah, they got mushrooms out of that. That cataclysm. So they started using them. To, and that's where we had the, the discussion about is souping someone or something a, a, a word? Oh, well. A, a souping an animal. Uh, so the mushroom should be. Which ones? This one. So there's gonna be some mushrooms everywhere. Mm. Oh, do we have brown mush uh, mushrooms as well? Can we have them with eggs? Uh, brown B. Where's the letter B? No, we cannot. Uh, so, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they adapted. That's kind of the uh, the idea of that place, is people just adapted. <laughs> uh, and let's summon. Summon... Um, mushroom... Here... Uh, wait, if I put a... Can I like, type or ah uh, dang it? Uh, boy, I'm not good with those NBT tags. Uh, type brown. It worked. It worked. Ah, uh, dang it. Oops, sorry. Didn't want to hurt you. Ah, uh, it's annoying that we can't uh, just change them. Uh, there's a way to turn them brown, but I'm not sure what it is. I think it's when they get struck by lightning. Let's let's do some science. No, stop doing that. Okay. Um, I think it's with summon that you can do some lightning. Lightning bolt. Ooh, that was fun. That was scary. Was very, very noisy. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but let's just kill them. They're not. No, I can let them just roam around the place. I don't have to be a monster just because I can. Easier than free. Well, I got very lucky with the tags, so it, it, it worked, I guess. Uh, they eat hay, right? Uh, no, it's wheat. If they breed, mm, mm. do they make like? Okay, so it's a random color, probably. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, they just pick a random color out of the two. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I really don't enjoy dealing with uh, NBT tags all that much. 
I do find those a bit annoying. They're not always very clear and, and obvious. Yeah, all, all, all the breeding works. Yeah, well, it depends. I think with sheep, you can get like a, an in-between color. Let's uh, make a pen again. I'm not sure if it's something that is actually in the game or not. Uh, but sheep. So we got two white ones. I'm gonna pick a blue. And it's gonna be light blue. I think. Which has loads of implications. Because it kind of means that dying the sheep actually changes their their genes. Their genetic code is affected by the dye, which means the dye is extremely powerful somehow. Look at that. Like that was a white sheep a minute ago. And it made a light blue baby because now it's blue. It's 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 uh so weird. Minecraft genetics are, are strange. Kill. Uh, oops, no. Uh, yes, I'd much rather use a command to kill them than just like a lava bucket or something. Don't judge me. Striking mushroom cows with... Well, yes, absolutely. Why were there 14? Were there 14? Yeah! That's weird. Oh, there must have been some in spawn, I guess. Let's see. Because there cannot be sheep here. Well, let's use the uh, glow effect. Uh, wait, no, they're dead. I can't. <laughs> that was dumb. Um, well, I killed all the sheep everywhere where they could spawn. Spawn, so I'm guessing the spawn chunks, or not know whether you could spawn, whether were loaded. So I'm guessing the spawn chunks were loaded. Uh, what is it? F3B. Show the hitboxes. There should be stuff lying around. Maybe. Okay, so these ones did not get killed, so they were not in the spawn chunks. I don't think that this right here right now is the best use of my time. Yeah, the range of the command. That's uh, that's probably what happened. But there are so many wolves here. I mean if there were sheep, if there had been sheep here, they would have been killed by the wolves, I assume. What's that? Oh, that's a rabbit. To be fair, I didn't ask you to fly around the spawn chunks looking for dead sheep. 
Don't, don't even try. It's all your fault. No one's to blame except you. Everything's your fault. Uh, uh, uh. And now, 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 now. First of all, I want this little crack to kind of. Uh, uh, it would look good if it reached right on the side here. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna make this a bit smaller. This little enclosure. Oops. Wrong place. No. Ah. Stop. Placing the wrong things in the wrong place. Okay. Better like that. So like... The little crack is gonna be here, and like the stem will kind of be hanging from the like on the side of the the crack, maybe. And let's just remove this big mushroom. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna stay there. It doesn't need to be here. a simple question and I decided to do research yeah exactly you asked a question no way I would do research on on that question obviously stop trying to say it's not all your fault it is and yeah that's uh, that's just how it's gonna be same for this mushroom, it doesn't need to be here. And this block should be here. And this one, nope, this one here. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, one thing that I would like to add is a kind of a little barn. So maybe we could, we could move this fence gate here. And yeah, we could have a little barn kind of here ish. So. Yeah, that would make s that would make sense putting it here. Sorry, I kind of went silent for a minute. Need to be a bit longer though. So let's extend it up to here and let's just build a big box. Gonna make it out of crimson. And it's gonna be built like right next to to the crack. That's cool. I like the idea that they're like, they're becoming a bit reckless with that. Like sure, there's a big crack in the ground, but who cares? Let's build a barn right next to it. Stuff. 
Why is it not there? Ah, there it is. Come on. Oh, you want... You want it to go out, now you want to come back in, right? And Dev is back. Welcome back, Dev. I'm guessing you had to go and take care of your uh, your little ones, or one of your little ones. I don't know if you missed much. We're building a little barn. Your, oh, your fur baby. Yeah, it's a. It, I think it counts as a a little one as as well. Those little fur babies. gonna make one of those classic barns like that uh, no let's make it like that Wait, no, actually. Kinda needs to be like that. Uh, let's pick another... Lock for the roof. For now, I'm just gonna pick the, the warped... The, the, this inventory here is so weird. Like, these two blocks are together, all the stairs are together, but, like, all the wooden stairs, but they're with quartz and emeralds? Why are emeralds there within that? Why is there, like, em a block of emerald between sandstone stairs and all the wooden stairs? Makes no sense. Same, the slab is here. Probably in the same order, that's... at least there's this consistency. But like, they're not with the other stuff. And the planks are here, it's, it's so weird. Wait, are they in the same order? Yeah, they are, okay. Yeah, that inventory is, uh... A bit of a mess. Oops. So, again, this is not gonna be the official block palette for this build. Also, let's make it like that. Eh. I don't like it, but we can always adjust it. We can always, always adjust the shape after that. Again, cannot say it enough times, this is not the official block palette. It's just, just a placeholder while we build that weird little barn. So I'm probably gonna use crimson for the, for the wood here, for the, the walls, but yeah. So you got a lot of, uh, of duties, Dev. Totally, totally okay. I mean, real life miniature people that cannot really take care of themselves independently are always a priority, obviously. Never feel bad 
for uh, taking care of them. They need it. They, they need you to do that. Yeah, you have to rit to hit the red mushrooms with lightning, or you have to figure out the, the command to summon them. <laughs> that also works. That also works pretty well. Yeah, with a trident, you can do it reliably. But I, I don't think they really have any interesting use uh, specific to them, because they give the same soup. I'm, I'm guessing the difference is that if you shear them, you're gonna get a different mushroom. Gonna assume, yeah. Um, look away, look away. We don't need this cow, but it, I know, I know, it's unfair. You don't have to run around to spread the message of your of your death. You don't have to. Yeah, they probably just get a different type of uh, of mushroom. They probably give. Both give suspicious stew. Uh, oh wait, no, that's mushroom stew that they give. So yeah, maybe the brown ones give sus. No, it's mushroom stew also. Uh, this one can live. Uh, do I still have the command? This one, yeah. It's just a different type of of mushroom that they get, that they give. There we go. Nothing happened. You didn't see anything. You did not see anything. Yeah, it could have been cool if the uh, if the. Uh, the brown wood had given some random suspicious stew. Could have been cool. You have to give the brown mushrooms a flower first. Is it like is it a suggestion of of how the game mechanic should be? Or is it... Okay, so it's it's true, it's not just like... It would be cool if... Actual game mechanics? Oh, that is very cool. And is it one flower each time, or...? Now I'm super curious. Or like... It... Do you use the flower once and it's gonna always give the same type of suspicious stew? Oops. Uh, ah, you can't... Oh, they're in the decoration box. Uh, what... Here. Let's give it a wither rose. Ooh! Now I'm withered. Yeah, so it's it's one flower for one suspicious stew. That would have been well, I was gonna say it would have been strong, but it, again it's just suspicious stew, so it's not 
like it's good like it's a good reliable food source uh, which one has I think there's like a super obvious one like dandelion they give regen or something like that something just a bit broken now I just want to explore all the stews uh, I'm guessing all the tulips have the same And does it work for the red? No, okay, it's just the brown. Okay, so the brown actually have a use. That's cool. Wait, what's the effect that I'm getting? It just lasts like half a second. It's a bit weird. Here I go again. Yes, here I go again. Okay, so it's the same one. Doing science. Okay, so that's weakness. Uh, so I tried, I think the blue orchid was the same that I got with the dandelion. Oops, I think it's hunger that it gives. Yeah, probably hunger. Or saturation? Uh, let's. No, I tried the tulip already. Saturation, okay, yeah. That's scary. Oh, I'm gonna use that. I forgot you can give blindness to people. Uh, Allium. He says fire resist. Yeah, cool. But which one gives regen? Is it the puppy? Night vision, that's cool. Problem is, night vision for 5 seconds is pointless. It's Oxide Daisy that gives a regen. That's very cool. Like, because it's, it's kind of easy to get Oxide Daisies. They're, they're not that rare. Yeah, it's, it's, it's five seconds or uh, less of, of one effect. It, it's, it's really not good. And you have to take it yourself. So you can't even give it to someone else. And half of them are bad, so it's... Like, you won't, you won't eat a stew that you didn't make yourself. And... Uh, in, in, and yeah, if you wanna, if you want a, uh, if you want one specific stew, it's okay. You can do it, but like any stew that you don't know, like you haven't done yourself, don't take it. It's just gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad for you. So yeah, it's it's a weird, another weird part of the game. Like it, it, it's good for funny stuff like uh, dares and things like that. But other than that, I don't really see the point of adding those. Yeah, so the longest one is 12 seconds and it's it's poisoned. <laughs> it, it's it's poison. It's like why? <laughs> Same for fire resist. Who needs fire resistance for four seconds 
and it's gonna have a stew instead of a potion for that. Just make a potion. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's just some bad potions, some bad splash potions. Um, so let's make more fences here and open it on the other end. Let's just do some kind of a little gate like that. Something like that. Actually, yeah, that's good. That is good. And just for the sake of symmetry, nah. I'm sorry. It's really not. I'm not doing anything important, but it's the kind of detail that I always end up working on. We're gonna put the door here. Uh, where did it go? It went. Okay, yeah, on the corner. And then. Why'd they all go in? Weird cows. that light that's the fun thing about a build in a uh, in, in a mushroom <laughs> biome we don't need lights that's amazing but I'm gonna add some uh, blue lanterns stop pushing me there you go just a bit of light Right, mushrooms. I think, is it just the brown ones that give light level 1? Yep. What about the reds? Nope. No light from the red mushrooms. Another very, very useful way to light up builds. Just cover it in mushrooms. You can see anything before I open the back door. Oh, right, because, yeah, compression. Sorry. Yeah. I always forget that that happens. If it's grass, it's can, it can spread by itself. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, if you put a mushroom on grass? What? Oh, right. Well, n now it has a use because now it can light up some stuff like spawn proof because light level one can now spawn proof stuff but like back in the days oops it wasn't like it, it wouldn't work it wouldn't do anything because yeah light was weird put in a swamp on oh, that's cool
So like you you light up the uh, you light up the uh, the gr the ground and uh, you can get slimes. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's interesting. That's fun. I I like when people do like completely inefficient but cool farms like that. That's the kind of farm that I would probably enjoy trying to figure out. Uh, actually, I'm gonna pick this one instead. if I switch the blue block. no dang it didn't work eh. uh, do I like that I don't know does it look good using the the blue one as the the supports? I'm gonna change this for uh, some slabs. Oops, no, no, no plural. I don't need any of that. You like it with the. Uh, the blue one, the, the, the blue uh, stems. As support, that is good to know. That is good. Uh, stare, I just don't like that. But now that is cool. it look a bit more sturdy perfect and yeah that's cool that's cool uh, again for the roof I'm gonna use just chunks of uh, of mushrooms kind of just used to they, they just cut them off and made the the typical roof but with chunks like that so I'm eventually gonna go inside to uh, to change the inside texture uh, but for now it's just gonna be some patches and for some reason I feel like the those uh, those blocks, those uh, nether ward blocks, they're like super sticky. I don't know why, it's just what they feel like to me. So they could just uh, be like used to kind of like glue everything together. I kind of just made it up on the spot, but they do feel kind of sticky. Am I the only one who thinks that? <laughs> so something like that.
No. Okay. That. So that's going to be a bit harder to do because I want to have uh, no this chunk like that. I feel like it's separate from this chunk there. So we're going to do that. Oops. And then we can switch these two. So we got the inside texture here. Something like that. Like that. Okay. Oh, I need to add some more red ones. So the red ones are gonna have like just a smaller size because like you get let less flat surface more curved surface so oops. let's go there and that there Okay. Let's go inside just to see what we could change, what we could, uh, what textures we could change. Sorry, I'm kind of uh, becoming silent again. It's a sign that we've been live for a long time. And as I'm looking at the time, it's been over three hours. So yeah, please, please forgive my, uh, my silence. Uh, it's, uh, I just ran out of things to say apparently. here to make them yeah, I mean don't 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 feel pressured to death <laughs> it's okay it is perfectly fine you, you don't have to entertain me I'm supposed to be the one entertaining <laughs> you guys <laughs> Wow, 
what are your thoughts on Fireflies, the Eagles, that you know already, and the Minecraft community on Twitter post 119. You already know my opinion on, on the Eagles. Uh, I don't even need to say it out loud. But it is shared by a certain dude who goes by the name The Dude. Uh, in, in, and even if it's a fictional character, I still share that, uh, that opinion on that band. Wait, that, 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 that. Okay. Perfect. You know what? Even this one. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. But, but, uh, sorry, I need to adjust my uh, my sitting position. Um, my thoughts on the fireflies. It would have been cool. I think I would have dressed up as a firefly for Halloween. <laughs> I think. Um, uh, but thinking Firefly was a ritual, I, I, I'm not a sci-fi guy, so I uh, never watched it. You know what? No, that, that, that's good. Yeah, perfect. Uh, but yeah, I never watched Firefly, but I've heard good things about that show. And at first, I, I thought it was uh, it sucked that they they had removed some of the things that we felt like they had promised. Uh, but with with time and like looking back, I, I understand the the position that they had. Like it, it, it was concept art, the way that they presented, for example, the birch forest. It, I see why now they would say that it was not exactly something that they had promised and more like an, an, a description of what they had in mind of what the uh, what the birch, birch forest should be and not just uh, here's what we're gonna do with it but here's here's how it feels so it, it, it's more like it, they used it as an example of what they meant when they were talking about the vibes of the uh, of the, uh, the, the, the um, of the biomes, and that I totally understand. It makes sense. Uh, you're not a sci-fi. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not a sci-fi guy. No, I am not. Um. Other than that, uh, the mine. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by the Minecraft community on Twitter post one. Oh, uh, like how the community is, how it has be, what it has become, and how it is. Because if you want a controversial opinion, I can give you a controversial opinion about th something that could make some uh, people. Well, I, I don't think it would make people angry, but what constitutes the Minecraft community, I have uh, opinions that might differ from what people would expect, but do, do you want a uh, controversial opinion? I, I, I'm, I'm asking, but I know you're gonna say yes, of course, obviously. So you thought I loved Star Wars, I don't know where you would have gotten that idea. Um, the, the only few times where I've publicly talked about Star Wars, I said specifically that I did not know much about that. Which I'm, I'm assuming you're just trolling me right now. But yeah, there were uh, talks about like... Votes on Twitter, allow people who aren't part of the community to vote and I don't agree with 
I made a video with the Minecraft Star Wars ship. I visited some place that had a, uh, a few Star Wars, uh, a Star Wars themed base. Unless you're talking about something else entirely. But yeah, I was I, I visited uh, Mickey's base at some point because it's a cool base and it, it was Star Wars themed. So that, y yes, I did do a video where there were some Star Wars things. Yeah, that's it, yeah. But I'm, I'm not a Star Wars fan myself. And I was very explicit about, about that when I said that I didn't know anything about that, uh, that culture. Anyway. Anyway. So yeah, my uh, my controversial stance that I'm really trying to share now because I don't know, I want drama or something. But uh, Minecraft is a game that we don't pay all the time. We don't have to uh, renew our a, a subscription to pay for it. So the business that owns Minecraft, M Microsoft in this case, still has to get money in order to, you know, get the game to, to work. So, my position is that the Minecraft community is anyone that invests money into the game. So sure, there are people that have realms, but anything that involves bringing visibility to the game is, uh, is involved in the community. So, for example, a, uh, a kid that does not play the game, but that watches whatever big YouTuber and, and buys creeper plushies or... Uh, uh, oops. No, that's good. Okay. Yeah, bu buys creeper plushies and buys uh, whatever, like, loot box or anything. They are part of the community and they have a voice. Uh, in, in what the game should become, what the game should be about, because they contribute to make the game exist. That's my controversial opinion. So if, even if someone does not own a copy of the game, they are still part of the community. Did I offend any anyone? Hopefully I did. I hope people are angry with me now and that I'm gonna get loads of hate hate comments stuff like that people sending me that threats all that stuff hopefully it's coming pretty soon there you go you wanted controversy dev you got controversy. You're angry, can't believe I haven't watched for a fly. Well, deal with it. That's all you deserve. Ha ha ha. Mua ha ha. Be angry, your anger feeds me. Ha ha. Am I doing it right? Spoken like a true walrus. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I could use some fences to kind of add to the droopy feel that I'm trying to go for here.
Well, that's one of my weirdest builds so far. And I, I, I'm counting Wrong Island. But it was a, a troll area, so it, it's fine. But this one, as an assumed and thought out build, that like, like it, yeah, just it, it's supposed to be thought out. It's supposed to look a certain way. Like, well, right, I mean, it's supposed to look the way it looks. That's one of my weirder builds that I've made so far. <laughs> and I'm quite happy with it. If I can be totally honest with you here. It's cool. I like it. Uh, so it's here. When you live on an island with no trees, you you use what you have. That's precisely, exactly what I'm going for here. That's the the spirit of this place. That's what they have to live with, or that's how they have to live. They didn't choose it. Some stupid wizard decided to mess up the entire place. Perfect, amazing. Uh, there's just one thing. It's 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 an issue that I end up having with many things, but it does kind of end up blending with this mushroom here, which should technically be part of more like a uh, like it's supposed to look like a, a tree-ish kind of kind of thing. So I'm just gonna tear it down. Make it taller. Gonna be able to bend the stem a bit more if I tear it down. And hopefully it's gonna look. Actually, you know what? Gonna make it. I'm gonna make it bend that way instead. Just so it's a bit further out, further away from, from it, from the from the the, the barn, here. Stop doing that. Okay. Okay. No, that's good. That's good. You know what? It could just be a tiny little mushroom like that. Let's just make it like one block bigger out there. Oops. And That's good so far. I'm just gonna need to make it look a bit less symmetrical now. No, dang it. You weren't supposed to break. Uh, so. Like that. No, oh, that just looks weird. That just looks weird. Just like Voldemort, you are back. You want to know something else that's uh, controversial? I've never been a Harry Potter fan. Never. Ever. Ever. 
Uh, I, I, it never talked to me. It just it never did. It's not that I'm not a fan of the 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 the, the, the universe. It's, it's not for me. I've never read any of the books. I've watched one of the movies, I think. I think. I'm not even sure. Ah, dang it. That, there, 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 there. Uh, should go out by a few more blocks. Like that. Uh, I'm... I do not know what pumpkin spice actually tastes like. I've never felt any interest to taste it. But it, it's not that I don't like it, it's that I do not know what it tastes like. And I do not feel like, like, uh, <laughs> checking it out. You, I wouldn't like it? Okay. <laughs> If you say so, thank you for warning me. <laughs> uh, uh, there's... it just feels wrong. I'm just gonna have it be like that all around at that height. No height variation. Just like that. That's good enough. And I need to replace this one here. There we go. Wait, did I? Can I just remove it? Oh, no, I needed to. Actually, it was the way it should have been. Perfect like that. Yeah, it's just a weird shape. That's good. Good enough. Uh, should I make it just a bit lower? Like, extending this. Yeah. Let's do that. Just play around with the shape a tiny bit more. <laughs> ah, you're gonna think it's funny. I, I'm not a big fan of Lord of the Rings either. I've, I've read it when I was a kid. Uh, I don't have enough time in my life to watch the movies again. I did when they came out. I liked them when they came out. And then I kind of realized I didn't want to watch them ever again. I'm not sure if I actually liked them or it was it was the thing. And I was a big like d d fan and stuff like that. So it, it really was the thing back then. So it might have been that, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, Lord of the Rings. It uh, it's just one of those things that doesn't really talk to me all that well, all, all that much. Uh, I know it's the same excuse as for Harry Potter, but it it kind of falls in the same kind of uh, situation where. Uh, I'm not sure how to properly explain it, but like in terms of like the, the values behind a story, I'm not a big fan of like absolute good versus absolute evil with like no no shades of gray and and I'm not talking about the other series of books that involves the name shades of gray uh, but uh, like, I prefer stories where you can, without agreeing with the bad guys, when you can understand why they are how they are, and they are more nuanced characters. But just like, yeah, that's the good guy, He everything he does is good. Th that it doesn't work with me. Does he not like anything? I like stuff, but 
I don't like you many things, yeah. Uh, but an, an example of um, things, uh, stories that I like, uh, th sadly, they're no longer on Netflix, but there were some uh, Marvel Netflix shows uh, a while ago. Um, and in, in those shows, you... The, it kind of had the same feel of, of what I'm saying, like I, I actually enjoy. Uh, so, for example, in, in Daredevil, uh, there was like the, the bad guy was Wilson Fisk, it was the Kingpin. And like he, he was an absolute evil dude, but you knew why he did what he did. You could understand why he did the things he did. He did bad stuff. Uh, but, like, it, it wasn't just to, like, have power or, or anything vague like that, like, uh, I'm guessing Sauron wants to, wants to do in Lord of the Rings. Like, it, I, I just, like, I, I don't understand why Sauron does what he does except to control the world, but what do you really have when you do that? Yeah, that, I'm, as I'm saying, he's an absolute horrible person. There's, uh, you're absolutely right, Dev. There is an exception to the absolute good or bad. Seals are absolutely bad. They're not evil. They're just bad. They're just ugh, ugh, don't don't be a seal. That's that's all I'm gonna say about that. But yeah. Wilson Fist did crush someone's head in a car door and then use that fact to blame it on the, the good guy. But, like, y y you see why he's doing things. It's harder to understand Sauron than Morgoth. I don't know who Morgoth is, though. But yeah, as I, as I was uh, saying, like about about Fisk, is that the original bad guy? Okay, yeah. But uh, as I was saying about Fisk, is that like he's trying to build something to improve the city where he lived when he where he grew up, the the city that that turned his father into the horrible person that his father was, uh, who basically like his his father would beat his mother and uh, beat him as well and he was trying to become a successful person anyway there's a whole story of um be behind fisk's father but um yeah he he like you, you know why he does what he does he, you you cannot approve on on what he does but you understand why where it's coming from and not just I'm a bad guy, I have a scary armor with spikes, and uh, I want to control the world. What? Is there no depth to, to you when you're like that? Like, why? Why would anyone be that? That's kind of what I feel about Sauron and, and Voldemort and, and characters like that who are like, feel just unidimensionally evil. Um, and same with uh, another example for uh, uh, the the same in the same kind of, of TV show there were there was Daredevil but there was Jessica Jones who had this uh, the bad guy in Jessica Jones was uh, in the first season was Kilgrave a, a guy with a superpower where he could control people and uh, like he, he would. Uh, say state commands to people and people would just do them without even thinking a and you realize at some point that he, he got his power when he was a kid so he never could grow I I any form of morality because whatever he wanted he would get like he would tell like his parents give me ice cream and he would get the ice cream he would so th there was no nothing that like would teach him uh, good, well, right from wrong or anything like that. 
and again, he's a horrible person. He did some horrible stuff. But you see where he's coming from. He couldn't have been anything, anything else. And and at some point, he kind of just wants the, the main character. It's never clear if it's what he truly wants or if it's just manipulation. But he wants the main character to just become his his uh, his beacon, like his a, a way for him to will be, be become his moral compass, by basically. So it's it's a super interesting and, and deep story more than I have a big weapon and I want to I have a big army of ugly people of, or of ugly creatures bow down to me or something so yeah that's uh, why I do not I'm, I'm not a big fan of uh, Lord of the Rings or of uh, well uh, Star Wars, I've never really seen all that much, but it does feel like it has, like, with the the light side and the dark side, it feels like it has that kind of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, cosmogony, I think, would be the word, the, the word for that. Like, it would have, like, it, it's in a world where that's how things are. So, yeah. You wanted to know something that I liked. I, I gave a few example. You would like Rick at Ralph. Perfect. Uh, I I know what it is. I've never seen it. I haven't seen a lot of movies uh, recently. Yeah, uh, I, I've seen some of the later movies uh, that do have more of that nuance. The thing is, I probably saw all of the movies just in different bits, like it, it, I probably ended up seeing every scene at one point or another, just, uh, yeah, in, in a different order and in, in a different, like, I, I, I know essentially the entire uh, story. You're a bad guy. But that does not make you a bad guy from again, Rolf. Okay, yeah. Do I watch strongman competitions? <laughs> Where does that come from? I I do not watch strongman competitions. That's that's uh, no, I do not. <laughs> that was a, a funny uh, question without any segue. <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, historically, yeah, we do have some, uh, some, uh, famous, and, uh, can I say even legendary, would the word be appropriate here? Yeah, uh, but we, we do have, uh, <laughs> a completely different question is a good segue. I cannot argue with that logic. That's very, very valid here. You are making a very good point. But yeah, no, I do not watch uh, strongman competitions. I've seen videos of uh, lumberjack competitions, which I think is really cool. Like the ones where they have to kind of, with their axe, they have to chop a hole in a big log and jam a plank in that hole and then they can climb up the tree and cut another hole and jam another plank in the hole and eventually or i see tree but it's a huge logs not they're, they're not trees and then like they can chop something like the, the top of the log something like that it's it's really cool to see especially considering the fact that they do that in like 30 seconds or something uh, but just strong men competition, I, I never really did. Uh, I, I I think I value skill more than aptitude. Is that a right phrasing? Like being extremely strong, like it good for you if that's what you want to be. Uh, but like doing something, it, it, I think to me feels. 
a bit m more impressive to to me. I'm not trying to uh, like look down on on strong men and people who participate in those competitions. N not not only because they could like break me in half because they are that strong, <laughs> but just I as a uh, what a, a potential watcher, a potential viewer. I um. Yeah, I, uh, I, 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 it, it talks to me more. I keep using that that phrase. Is it the right phrasing? It talks to me. <laughs> I, I hope I'm not saying something that makes no sense. Strong men are actually weak. That is not what I said. <laughs> it's not what I said. I never. I never said such a thing. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. No, I said I prefer skills. GF Caron. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that is. Uh, what that is? Wow, I'm really getting tired. Who that is? That was a mistake on my part. I'm not trying to. Oh, you just tricked me, did you? You think you're smart now, are you? Dev, dev, dev. Trying to get me in trouble. You little punk. There we go, let's change that block. Let's play some XCOM. We cannot. You know we can't. I, I can't kick your butt in XCOM. They no longer want me to. They won't allow me to do that anymore. Probably because I kicked your butt way too much. Yeah, I, I, I guessed that JF was for uh, Jean-Francois. I, I guess that part, it's a very uh, common abbreviation for that name. But I... Uh, yeah, I still I don't know who that is. Sorry. Again, I, it's not the kind of thing that I follow, so... But, I mean, good for him if he's... Uh, he's happy with what he does. That's great. I know that the guy who played uh, the mountain in uh, Game of Thrones... Well, the, the last guy, because there were three that played that character, but the last one... The one who played him for the longest... Uh, has won some strongman competition. <laughs> Dev, you know I don't want people to say my name out loud. Or you know I won't say my name out loud in stream. Also, the V should should be with the, uh, the second part. Yeah, he's Icelandic, yeah. But yeah, I, I think he yeah he's won a few uh, a few of those competitions. But yeah, you're right. He's not a Quebecer. It's it doesn't count. <laughs> it's it's an old joke with Dev that uh, he he at some point just assumed that that was my name because it was the only French name he knew, or some other reason that I do not remember. <laughs> Might be something else entirely. Um, that was a reason, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, it makes sense, makes all sorts of sense. <laughs> 24 601. Wait, what? Your favorite musical? Oh, yeah, I've uh, I haven't seen uh, Les Misérables. Well, seen or read? Is it was it a book initially? I'm not sure. Mm. 
Yeah, I uh, I have not seen. I, I don't know much. I know the. the... Did you not? Know? No, I I know of it, but I didn't. I don't. Uh, I haven't read it or seen it. Again, not sure of the exact uh, list of mediums that his it has been portrayed in. Okay, it's a very long book, yeah. That makes sense. So yeah, sometimes very long books have to uh, be cut. Um, so wait, I want to back up. You have watched Game of Thrones, but you don't like um, musical theater. I don't hate musicals. Uh, also... I don't like Lord of the Rings, but I've watched Game of Thrones. The early season really fit in with what I was talking about. Where kind of everyone has rights and wrongs. Uh, but, and, and the bad guys do things that make sense in a human perspective. So yeah, it is coherent. You haven't watched Game of Thrones, yeah. It's... Um, I think it's the first four seasons were like they made sense then the show became big uh, well bigger and bigger and uh, they no longer had source material so yeah very few characters have redeeming qualities in Game of Thrones well yeah they're they're all bad but except for that I disagree with that because Ned was such a uh, what's the word Would a, a goody two shoes fit in here? Tony Stark's that exactly. Yeah, but he, he just he tried he like is is trying to act honorable with dishonorable people. Like it was so important to him that he ended up causing so much trouble. He's the only idealist. Uh would John be an idealist also? I feel like John is also an idealist. I feel like. And also, you know, N Ned did some bad stuff when it comes to uh, to John. Like he he did do some th the way John was uh, treated. Well, do, do you know the? Uh, I think at this point it's it. it no longer spoiler territory, but do you know, like, the, the big spoiler around Jon Snow? Because when you know it and you see what Ned did, like, again, you understand why he did it, but it was still a bad move for, for the person. And for, well, his entire family at this point. But yeah, is uh, like all, all the characters. As I said, they're, they're all bad. S some are worse than than others. Like uh, Little Finger, you you can't really like see any worth to what he's doing beyond just himself trying to cause trouble to climb the ladder or to climb. Well, he, as he says, chaos is a ladder, so he does try to do that. Yeah, we, if we just go from that, he wasn't really his son, um, and uh, he hid that, and it kind of caused him to have a terrible life with, and it, it caused his wife some extreme grief, thinking that she, like he had, he, like Ned, the supposedly most honorable man ever. Uh, had a ba having a bastard son was like a uh, horrible something horrible for for her but then i understand why he hid that that john was not his real son because like he had to inflict that upon her otherwise her reaction would make no sense and the way she would have treated john 
would have made like n no sense in that context. So yeah, it's it's a complex thing, but basically, yeah, he kind of, in a way, manipulated his own wife so that she would hate his his uh, supposed bastard son. Wasn't sure if YouTube you would let me type that. Type what? Oh, the word. The word bastard? <laughs> Was that the word? Because I think it kind of has two... It holds two meaning. I um, I understand that it's it's a bad word that uh, could be censored. Maybe, if you use it as an insult. But if you use it as the... Uh, the uh, situ... Well, the, the family situation of a person... I think would be acceptable. I'm not sure. Anyway. I try to. I I'm not even sure. The, the other B word. Yeah. <laughs> well, it depends on. Always depends on the context. Because it holds two meaning. It doesn't have two meaning. Well, it's. It still has two. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's. Uh... Kind of like the word. Do I go there? Yeah. It, Using the word bitch as female dog, it, that's the, the original, it, it has been reused as an insult towards women that I won't use as such, but as a female dog, it, that's what the word's supposed to mean. So there's there's that. Anyway, yeah. I, I really used the, uh, the word, uh, the other B word. <laughs> now, I guess I have to say. Uh, uh, in a, um, w without even thinking that it was considered a, uh, a bad word, a vulgar word. Anyway, someone's gonna, probably gonna clip that and, uh, <laughs> get demonetized, yeah. I, I don't think you can get demonetized for using bad words. I, I don't think. I do not think, but well, it depends on the bad words, of course. Like there, there are some, some of those words that I will avoid at all costs because they're just not words that anyone should use. Anyway, chat is an auto sensor feature. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna tell you a big secret. I, I don't have butts. I don't know how to have butts in my chat. So if there is a bot, uh, it, it might it, it might have censored it. Like if there's an, a bot initially in any chat, but uh, I don't know how any of that works. I need to be an evil scientist to get a bot. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, but, 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 uh, oh, let's remove those ever since, w was it you, Thingy, that pointed out that, uh, yeah, the, uh, sugarcane was really ugly, ever since you pointed it out, or someone pointed it out, I, I, I cannot tolerate seeing it. Also, I didn't even know that it could be planted on, on mycelium. That's good to know. That's a good way to prank some people. Sound like something you, you would do, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was you. You're the culprit. Yeah, it is very, very bright and very green. So let's just have a look around the place. Ha! For all. Another weird sorcery thing that happened when the cataclysm hit this place. Also, that's ugly. 
Why is it like that? I don't understand how World Gen creates stuff like that. It looks so weird. There we go. Strong border. I don't think it was one. Whoa. Got some lag. Nope. It wasn't any close to a strong border. A Chung brother? <laughs> you lost. Sorry. Naturally spawn for high sugar cane. Yeah, they, they, well they are weird. It's not how it should be. It's strange. Again with the weird corners. There we go. And you know what? I'm gonna add one here. Perfect. Splendid. I'm gonna fill this in. So um, is it obvious that I don't want to end stream, but that I uh, don't really know what to build, and I don't want to start building something? <laughs> Why is it so laggy? Why? Is my computer now completely unable to handle this world? Yeah. Yeah, I've never been this far, you're right. Probably just loading some uh, never loaded before chunks. all the items that nope that 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 there we go 39 entities that's probably what was lagging everything well that's bad if just Walking through chunks is causing this much lag. That's annoying. So chunk borders. Wait, you you only said it for two things. Wait, or, or, or am I missing something? I don't understand what's happening anymore. It's just looking around is okay, but it lagged earlier. Yeah, it's... Well, it's not every time I change chunks, though. Oh, I was thinking I was lagging, but I was just stuck on a mushroom. Yeah, this one was at the border. Again. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. This one is weird. Very, very weird. Uh, yes, I am running up to fine. Um, it might just be the world that's getting too big, but it's 
Or maybe it's just because I've been streaming for four hours. Wow. I hadn't realized it had been four hours. Maybe my computer is a bit tired. <laughs> that might be that or be part of the problem. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to end it now. I think we, uh, we're gonna have to. Do you want to see what I built in the jungle yesterday? Or have you seen it already? Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. So first of all, I changed this spot here. It used to be there. Now I moved it here because it kept messing with that trapdoor. Which is annoying. But yeah, I... Uh... Well, first of all, I don't know if any of you have uh, had already seen that, but I finally landed on a design for the walls, very different from the first design that I had, but it's more more consistent with what I had in mind. Uh, so we got dirt down here, and we made these little houses. We also lost a lot of time on that staircase back there, but we mostly did that. Um, yeah, I did say I was gonna check out Dev's server, and that's something I am definitely gonna do. Um, but yeah, we got these little houses with nothing inside. But yeah, we got those. So three little houses kind of all stuck together. That's really the feel that I'm going for, for the entire downtown or uh, lower city area. So like we're going to have three houses here. There's going to be this tiny little corridor under that bridge here. So it's going to be super dark and scary. And we're gonna have like a house here and a house here, another one here, another one here, and like a little staircase that's gonna lead to the harbor over there. So it's really starting to uh, take shape. I'm happy with uh, with that. Um, and I I have all these platforms here. They're a lot bigger. See now I'm flying around and there's no problem at all. One of the cities where the people run along the rooftop. E yeah, that's... Uh, I never considered that, but e yes, it really fits in well with the feel like of people jumping from one roof to another. Uh, there's just this one roof that I'm not very happy with. It's kind of hard to make... Like, I, I don't want to make all the same thing, especially with builds that are all stuck together. They, they, they have to look... Like each one has to have it, its own style, otherwise it's just it just feels like one big house. Uh, but I'm not too sure about this uh, roof type here. Also, let's make it like that. It was weird having one straight line on top. Assassin's Creed game. Uh, it's not meant to be a game. <laughs> it's really not. Um, but yeah, it it fits in well with that kind of uh, of uh, of feel. And I'm quite happy with those little flags here. I'm not sure if they shouldn't be. No, it's okay if they're the end is dripping down. Kind of gives more life to it. Yeah, perfect. Amazing. I'm quite happy with that. Um, so there's still more stuff to do. I want to also extend the village that way. Uh, but it's it's uh, not going to happen really soon. No, I'm not going to work. I'm, I'm, I was just showing stuff. Uh, I am enjoying building in creative. I I am. It allows me to focus my time on on what I really want to be doing, which is building the things. And like I'm I'm okay with the grind. Just I I have two SMPs where I can do the grind. <laughs> I I'm I'm. I don't have to have like my my third project be in survival 
Like it, it really is about building the things and not, and not like yeah, not, not the grind, not gathering the resources. None of that is meant to be happening in in survival. I mean, it could be, it, it would be like a, a crazy, amazing project if I did all of that in survival. But yeah, really not where I'm going with that. Hey, thanks. Thank you, Dev. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoy. It's uh, it's kind of the the point, you know, sharing what I do and uh, getting people to to see my process, how I work. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's this place. So I'm probably gonna build like more houses here between streams. I, I got a lot of between stream projects, uh, but yeah, these like six or seven little houses here. Probably, probably gonna do that between streams, just cause like I made that on stream. Gonna stick to that style with all of those. Uh, yeah, uh, off stream I'm, that I'm gonna do that. And uh, next stream, I'm probably gonna work on the harbor here. But it might take a little while because I'm starting my uh, old job, which seems so sounds a bit weird, but like I, I, I already had two jobs, now I got three. Um, each one of these is like a full survival base, yeah. And I, I already have enough survival bases running at the moment, so yeah, I uh. I prefer building that in creative, but yeah, I'm. Um, I, I started my uh, new job, uh, well, being a teacher, uh, about a month ago. Yeah, a month ago because it was in August, so a bit more than a month ago. And now I'm starting my old job, the one that I had been doing in that same school for like six years. I'm starting it again uh, this week. So I'm going to be running three jobs at the same time now, which is some great fun. Uh, yeah, going to have to find a way to make everything work together and find time to um, to stream and to play. So I'm probably going to be a, take a tiny break from streaming. I might stream next weekend. We'll see. But like this week, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, probably just going to be building some stuff. Uh, off camera stuff like these little houses and uh, like when like, I built all these walls it was all done off camera because I, you didn't need to see all of that I'm probably also gonna work on the landscaping in the the mushroom village also uh, I'm not gonna go back there I'm just gonna end things here but yeah we're gonna work on that and I don't have any like on hold projects or a uh, off-camera projects for the uh, the Ice Fortress, I think. Uh, so yeah, passing your, passing your test in four weeks. Uh, last retake. Oh, I wish you the best of successes. Minecraft is getting pushed to November. I don't know November. I don't know if it's gonna really be pushed back. Well, that that far back, but uh, maybe, might be. I don't know. Okay for you. Yeah, sorry. That was a bit uh, self-centered of me. <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, that's... Uh, that, don't apologize for that. It's me acting all narcissistic and all. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you everyone for joining me today. I really appreciate you coming over and, and hanging out and it was fun. Having all those discussions and all that stuff and building, I, I built a lot more than I expected. But then again, I've been streaming for four hours. Never thought I could manage to, to do that. But there we go, I did. So I, I just uh, set a standard now. Guess I'm gonna have to do that every time. <laughs> Thanks for the double stream. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing some two hours until now. So that's cool. That's fun. <laughs> Alright, so, well, thank you so much for watching and for joining me. I'm gonna go now, so bye, see ya!